Chris Kelly with Frank Julia's Workout A. All right, now Frank, your first exercise in Workout A is what is called backpack push-ups. So we already did these the other night. What you're going to do is you're going to get a pad or some kind of a target that you can drop down to. And I want you to get your chest down to this target with each rep. All right, it's not a rep unless you touch the pad. All right, for each of these exercises, I want you to do between six to eight reps. Um, I've got a computer backpack here. Got this from Walmart. Really, any oversized backpack is what you're looking for. Um, you can get up to 125 pounds in this thing. Like we started out with 30 pounds the other night. That's what I'd start out with. You got about six to eight reps with that, and that looks good for you. So this is your primary strength lift for the upper body for this month. So really focus on uh, getting heavy with this, you know, but maintaining good form. And when I say good form, good form is shoulder blades tucked down and back. Um, elbows not flared out to the side as you're doing the push-up, maybe at about 60 degrees. You don't want them tucked all the way in, but you definitely want them, you know, out maybe in between as opposed to flared out to the side and shrugging the shoulders up. Now again, what I'm looking for here, coming into a push-up position, keeping a flat back, pausing at the bottom, coming up fast, lowering slowly, pausing, up fast, down slow. You want to stop at the bottom, eliminate all momentum. I'm looking for six to eight reps. If you can get above eight reps, it's time to move up. If you can't get six reps, it's time to move down a little bit. No shame in that. All right, our next exercise is a split squat or a rear foot elevated split squat. With this, you're going to need a step or something that you can put your back foot on to help to increase the range of motion. All right? In the beginning, I want you to use a stick or some kind of an implement to help you balance. All right, you're going to put your back foot on the step, drop the back knee straight down, and come back up. Main thing that I'm looking for here, tightening the butt cheek of the back leg, shifting all the weight to the back of the heel. I'm curling my toes up to really shift the weight into my heel here and drop it straight down. I want you to keep the knee over the toe, pause at the bottom for 42 seconds, and come back up. All right, I also want you to think about keeping a pretty long stance with this. So I'm going to, you know, your foot should be about maybe three to six inches forward of the pad as opposed to almost touching it back here, right? So once you're able to do that with good form, I would say move to just body weight. Um, once you get, you know, once you're able to do this with balance, once you have six to eight good body weight reps, okay, we're going to start to weight this up a little bit. And what we could do to do so is utilize the backpack, all right? What we could do is either hold it on your back here, or you can actually put it on your stomach, which I'll show you in a second. But this is a great exercise. This actually helps to pull you into the correct position. So it's a really good exercise. It helps to shift everything into where it needs to be. Um, conversely, you can increase the stability demand. So work your core a little more. Put it in front. Just a little different variation. Just holding it here. Drop it straight up and down. As you become better at this exercise, you can actually wear the backpack um, you know, on the back. I know you, you're, you have dumbbells that go up to 25 and hold an elbow in front. All right, so you're loading both vectors here. Again, I'm looking for six to eight reps. Once you get to eight reps or over, it's time to move up. Now, for your third exercise, and uh, that is circuit A, by the way. So I want you to perform those two things back to back three times for six to eight reps. All right, for circuit B, we have seated cable rows. All right, and I've got a, uh, I've just got two handles here attached together, but you want to get far enough back to where there's a good stretch in the band here. Chest is up, shoulder blades down and back. Tucking the elbows in, pausing at the bottom for one to two seconds, and coming back. All right. Watch the shrugging of the shoulders. Try to keep these down throughout the exercise. Squeeze the shoulder blades together at the top. Pause and come back. For your third and final exercise, we have a single leg hip lift. All right. For the single leg hip lift, you're just going to be on one leg here. One leg is up in the air. I'm going to take a 20 pound dumbbell here. Put it on my hip, press it up, and come down. All right, once you get above the 25 pound limit on your dumbbells, you can actually utilize the backpack here. Oh, we can put this on your hips, legs up in the air, raise it up, and come down. I'm looking for equal reps on each side. If you find that you're getting more reps on the left versus the right, only do as many as you can symmetrically. So, you know, kind of go lower on the higher rep side if necessary. Uh, once again, you're going to do uh, three rounds of circuit B for six to eight reps, and that is workout A.